I think you need to be right here. Are you first? Are we live? We're live. We're live. We're live. Oh, I just, Sherry, I just bumped it. Mandy gotcha. is yeah. going to fix it for me. Okay. Sorry, guys. I think we're good. I love when she Hey, we're live. <laughs> oh, hello, worry. hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, five pretty <laughs> friends here having fun. Um, this is Sandra. No. Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. No, this is Cindy from Sugar Chat Cookie Studio. I don't even know my friends. This is Sherry from Smart Cookies. Hi. And uh, do you ever say, is it Smart Cookies Bakery or Smart Cookies? Smart Cookies Bakery. Okay, that's what I thought. Sandra Hi. from the Frosted Squirrel Bake Shop. And this is Mandy Kelly. No. And she is Kelly's Custom Cookies. So... Anyway, we're glad you guys are here to join us. We have a lot of things to talk about and demo for you. And we just kind of did this um, just for fun, just to show you some different techniques because people are always asking me, how do you do this or how do you do that on a cookie? And I don't have time to bake cookies and do tutorials for stenciling because I'm so busy with designing stencils and my shops and then my club now. So, And then also in my two Facebook groups. So I just don't have time for cookies. But... These ladies all do cookies all the time. So um, they live near me. We have a group of, of KC cookiers from Kansas City. We have our own group and we get together and uh, have field trips and fun and we support each other and encourage each other and it's wonderful. Um, so these ladies are here tonight to help me show you some different things that I thought you may want to learn. So first, who wants to be first? Are you going to go first? Um, who did I, can, we I can. Yeah, I'll just go first and okay. I'll do the background. And okay. So I'll need to Cindy is going there. to demo air. Oh, boy, I'm bright now. Look at that. Can you guys? Mm. Let me scoot over here. Can you guys see me? Hi, Laura Jean. Hello, Holly. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, hey, I've got my shirt on, guys. Everybody needs a cookie. Anybody in my club got their shirts on tonight? <laughs> or have you made it yet? <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Sandra, Rachel's laughing at you. Why well, I mean, okay. isn't Rachel sweet I don't ideas, know. Rachel? Hi, Karen. So I won't be able to see all your comments all the time because this um, iPad is a little bit far from me. And I'm up on a, a stool, so when they get so, down lower, you'll be able to see because the light is kind yeah. of shining on me. So, we'll, so I'm going to trade. I'm going to swap places with Cindy. And or Sandra. Cindy yeah, Sandra. my other name. You know, whatever her name is. <laughs> my other name. So Okay. So, okay, I'm going to set this here over here for just a second. And, and you guys can explain what you're demoing. I'll let you talk. Okay, okay. Um, hey, everybody. It's nice to um, be here. We're super excited um, to get together and demo these things. So I'm going to show how to airbrush with some stencils. And um, then Mandy is going to do some swiping with royal icing. And we'll just show some different things that we do. Um, I did want to show, this is a cookie I, I airbrushed last night, I don't know if you can see, but what I love about stenciling is that you can use royal icing, you can use the airbrush, you can embellish, as you can see I did a stamping on here, I have wafer paper, and I just love that you can use so many different things. This okay. is one of the prettier plaque stencils that Julia Usher designs, and I just love these sets. So we'll scoot you guys closer so you can see better. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey wow, yeah. that does that's look better. Close up. Yeah, that's now nice. you can see the cookie. So, um, okay. So the first thing, <laughs> should I do? Do you want to just pick a plaque, Nancy? Pick a and plaque, pick a plaque. Which one are you gonna do first? That will tell um, me. Which we'll do the Happy Easter do. one. The big, okay. and I'll do the um, I background. Like, I, like this so. up the, I love this. I love this plaque. Yeah. Who's this plaque from? I'm gonna show this. Um. This is from, this is Leo Loa's design. Oh, this is okay. that, this is, I use this a lot. And um, I pre flooded a bunch of plaques for everybody so we'd already have that stuff yes. going. And um, I need the stencil genie and the background. Okay. So, um, you should you, see this. Our table is it's full, so full and the <laughs> table behind us is full. So we're going to be reaching the, for things the bunnies, as we go. I think. So. Hi, Linda. Thank you. I can, I've got my contacts in, but I'm squinting because it's hard to see. So if I, if you have questions, um, we'll try to, I'll definitely go back through and answer those later, and I'll try to answer them also maybe, oh, yeah, Sandra's on her phone, so she can read the questions to us. And there's paper towel. Good, thank you. Okay. Yeah, can I have a paper towel? I'm, because I'm afraid this is going to slide I've only done lives by myself, and I've never had this much help. It's well, nice. Well, this is nice, like right? Yeah. Right? Okay. 
So this is um, this is a bunny stencil that. Um, How about we do this, Nancy? Or like this? No, no. this bunny no, stencil. Yeah, no, that's okay. But you might want to do that when we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll, we'll hold that up so you can see close up when she's airbrushing. Yes. Anyway, this is that's a bunny the stencil. bunny stencil from the yeah. shop. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah that goes. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do this in two pieces, and I'm also gonna show how if you use. If you're very careful, um, you can use different colors on a background. So, let's see mm -hmm. here. Let's do, um, well, this isn't really um, an Easter color, but I just grabbed it. Hi, Joan. So. I wish you were here, too. <laughs> it's fun. We love each other. These are going to be yellow bunnies, okay? Yellow bunnies. Yellow okay. bunnies. Some of them, anyway. Okay, so this is, so when you just, you, you put the stencil over, and then you want to get really close, but it's all about gentle not just spraying the heck out of it because if you spray the heck out of it the color will pull and it, it won't look near as nice and this kind of stencil it's good you can give them in here and do a few bunnies in yellow so just, you're going low and slow like I do yep yep because I think if you go too fast and you put too much color on too quickly it can pull and it and actually it can kind of damage the flood you know so so I'm just going to do these Aww, in that color, really color, you know, I mean, just, and then we'll go back in and do. Did you talk about the color? Um, these are, this is a um, Jenny from um, Creative Cookier. These are, this is her um, airbrush and these are her colors. Is this the basic airbrush? Yes, this is the basic okay. one. Yeah. And I actually, um, she has these new quick connect things now. And um, oh. so you can use a couple of different airbrushes and, um, you know, use different colors and change them out pretty quick. But so I put some blue in there, and it, of course, the yellow with the green. So now we can come in and just do a few blue bunnies. Aww. I like this little stencil, Nancy. You do? Thank you. Yeah, it's cute. Is it? There's a big glare off of the. Yeah, there's a big glare off of What do I need to do? Is it off of the stencil? Because of the light, probably. Okay. Mandy, what color are you going to swipe the Happy Easter on? And that way I'll know not to. Um... Oh, so we've got orange, green, and I don't know what else is in that glass. Uh, for icing? Yeah. Uh, like a, your turquoise blue that you like. Oh, okay. That'd be good. Um, so then I'll do. Um, I'll do a little bit of this red. Ooh, that's I know. a nice pretty color. I know. They're really good colors and they mix well and um, you can... Here, I'm going to hold it up. Whoop, there you go. Premium Genie Perfect. Air Spray. Do you know how many colors this comes in? Um, it's, it's like 12. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, me? Oh, I'm there. sorry. There by her fingers. Oh, there it's you go. Left. Oh. There, right there. Okay, there. that's the Creative Cookie Air air spray premium air spray yeah there's a pearl and a gold that a oh. lot of times I like to mix the pearl with whatever color I'm doing mm -hmm. um, on that stencil I showed at the beginning that I did the bridal one I mixed blue and black together and some pearl just to give it a little bit um, of depth so now you have all these different color bunnies on there Cute. and so Nancy can use the royal icing and she can swipe across and you could edge it in something else or do whatever you wanted to. Um, so we'll do the airbrushing first and we'll swipe in a little bit. You yes. want to do... Um, um, I was going to do those carrots, that carrots, carrot, carrots. that two-piece. Right there. Yeah. These are those cute little baby carrots. I just I just put these in the shop last week and they're so cute. Someone, uh, Helen I'm did these on a cookie. That's the first time I've seen them on a cookie. Yeah. Oh, they were so cute. The I shared the them on my green. page. Too. I know I have the green. I just need the orange. It should be in that little blue box over there. So we're going to do these. Um, and it's a two-piece set, so it's got the little top separate. And it should be fun to do this part in um, airbrushing and then do the top in more like that would just give it dimension and texture. And I think that would be cool. So, and if you're in the Colorful Cookie Club, we're going to be learning uh, how to make secret stencils in April. You know what? I can just do red and yellow together, you guys. Yeah, I might have left it up. But anyway, I'll do, I'll make those.
mean, no sound. Is it that airbrush causing it? I mean, causing. I mean, it's not hooked to the Wi-Fi. No, I mean just the sound in the back. Where? Is there a sound button down there at the bottom? Ah. No, that's camera. Flip. Magic. No sound. Okay, we're we're trying to fix it. Hold on. Is this? We don't know what happened. There's usually a. Oh, you know, you may have pushed the volume button. There you go. <laughs> Mandy was just too <laughs> strong. <laughs> Mandy is Mandy is here super strong. Holding the iPad, her arms are probably breaking. Yeah, hey, Brady. Break. And she accidentally pushed the volume button. <laughs> Hi, Ginger. Hey, Ginger. I went to high school with Ginger. She's one of my best buddies. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Oh my gosh. We got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> so when you're putting the stencil in, you want to make sure that it's flat. And, and one of the key things is having a very nicely flat, flooded cookie because it'll make it easier for this to lay and to not have any gaps. Sometimes I use magnets or some little children's wood blocks like in the corners if for some reason it's not exactly level, but um, this works really good. And But this stencil is, I don't think it's in there right. It's it's buckling a little bit in yeah, the... not laying. Here, there, you go. there we go. It needs to just connect with the magnets for sure. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, I just mixed some red and orange together. You mean yellow? Yeah, that yeah. color too. <laughs> yellow red and Red and yellow red. makes orange. We learned that in kindergarten. What do all your t-shirts say? I'm seeing them backwards. Ha ha. Oh, everybody needs a cookie. And Sherry, you can't see her. Cindy says... Sugar Chat Cookie Studio. Her friend made that for her. My friend Nancy made that for me. <laughs> People are thinking you are on the studio page and waiting for you there. The In the club page? Yeah. No, I told them all it's on my business page. That's what Annie said. So okay. Sure. So, Annie, oh, is it, you know what, Annie, type in the, if they're in the group, I posted that it would be on my business page and to like yeah, it. Yeah. So, um, if you'll post a message in there, you can uh, let them know that it's on my business page. And tell them that if they're, they haven't liked it, it's the Colorful Cookie Stencil Studio and it's my page. Don doesn't hear anything again. <laughs> I'm just trying to make that dry so I can put uh, this on there. Maybe that was from before. Hold on. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's up all the way. You, not am I that seeing part. that message late, Don? Can you hear me? Can you hear, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> Like Just a picture, home. no movement or sound for Maxine. That's weird. Is it working now? Uh, no. Okay, Laura Jean hears us. I don't know. That's weird. Hmm. I mean, I don't. Maybe the maybe mm -hmm. like you said, the airbrush is getting. Maybe she should go out and then come back in. Yeah, maybe yeah. if you can't oh. hear, if you're saying yeah. you can't hear or see, you need to tap on us to hear us. If you haven't tapped on us, um. And yeah. then, yeah, tap. Yeah, tap. Yeah, and tap then, on us. Um, oh, yeah, most people hear us. Okay, Maxine, you need to tap on us if you can see us but not hear us. That may fix it. Yep, okay, Don can hear Good. us. Good. Okay. okay. So, Amy, did you go in the group and post a message for me to say that, maybe I should do that with my phone, to say that we're on my page. I tried to let everyone know it would be here on my business page and not on my face because if I did that in one group, both of my groups couldn't see it, so I chose to do it here. All right, Nancy, you're going to help me with the tops to get them in the right places because they're uh, you're upside, down. upside down. Well, did you do that? I don't know. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it depends on if you did the other one upside. It's got to be one of these ways. Oh, you had it flipped. There we go. No. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. No. She had it... Uh, let me see the other one and I can figure it out. Uh, you may have had it upside down. Oops. They only line up if they're right side up, Cindy. <laughs> okay, so you have the carrots. Yes, like that. Like that. So, so that should go just... It should go right... There we go. There you go. Slide it over. You just want to slide it over like... See? No. Yeah. Yeah, like that. See? No. Well, no. <laughs> We gotta get the carrot tops on the right places. Well, hold on. They line up, I promise. I know, I believe you. <laughs> now I'm gonna get stuff all over. Did you have it set yes. off? Okay, uh -oh. so it's a little turned. That's better. Okay. Oh, okay. 
you had it just a little turn. Oh, so I just need to turn this twist. Yeah, yeah, you just turn the other one a little. Okay. Go ahead and put I just it in the know. frame and then turn, yeah. Yeah, get it you in there turn it at an angle. Like that? Yeah. Look there at my, we go. Look at my fingerprints. Look, it lines yes. up perfect. Yay. <laughs> how, many, how many cook years does it take to do <laughs> the stencil? <laughs> do the stencil. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hi from Michigan. Cindy, are you left-handed too? No, I'm right-handed. Oh, it's not mirrored. Oh. Or it is mirrored. Yeah. I usually wear my watch on my right hand so people think I'm left-handed, but I can't do cookies with the jewelry on for whatever reason. Oh, I love these little... How cute. You could even do that Happy Easter one, Nancy, in a darker color over the top of this, mm -hmm. you know? That would be cute. No, you haven't missed anything important, Amy. Well, I mean, it's all been important. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can always come back and watch what you did miss. But we, you know, we've got lots more to show you. There we go. I mean, how cute. So fun. Hold it up. So fun. Hold it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Here. here we go. Oh, there's a him. Oops, light. Can you see? There hey. we go. How fun. Cool. Um, here's the bunny one. I don't know if you... Just did some, I mean, just doing different colored bunnies with the same background. So, so the last thing that I was going to show is how um, whenever we do PYOs, um, making the dots for the PYO, and um, Sherry, who's here, does them often. And Sherry, you, you airbrush and you paint your PYOs, right? Yes. And I, I don't do them all the time. Excuse me, Nancy. I do them for holidays. Um kids things, kids parties, things like that. So, but I always airbrush them. And I did the um, the blue and the green and the red before. And I somebody had posted somewhere last night that they had a problem with the dots flying around and I don't remove them. This is just a template that I got online and then I put acetate on it. And then I just piped the dots last night, let them dry. And then I airbrushed these before but I was going to show you how I do them so that they don't bleed, as you can see these lines. Um, so, um, Sean wants to know what kind of airbrush you're using. It is the um, Genie's from Creative, the Air Genie. It's the Air Genie from Creative Cookier, and it's the basic one. She has another upgraded model, but I like this one, and I have a couple of extra um, airbrushes that I've got. If that works. Yeah. How long does it take for the dots to dry? Um, usually, like I did, the, I, when I piped them last night, um, they were dry this morning, and um, I airbrushed these a little bit. I mean, what, 20 minutes 20 ago? Minutes and ago. and they're yeah, they're dry. That's old airbrush. <laughs> um, they're a little tacky, but they're. I mean, you could yeah. use them. You could pop them mm -hmm. off. And so um, I wanted to use the yellow and show you how I do the last ones with. My super duper blocker. Do you have that? Well, I looked for it, but I. It's. I mean, it was. Just, oh, it's right here. Yeah, I just use a piece of cardstock, and you can see where I, I just lay it up there and hold it so that it doesn't bleed against the others. Now leave me a couple to paint. Oh, okay. And then um, Sherry's going to paint some, so I'm going to. That's really got a little bit of green in there, but you get the idea. So I just hold this like that, and then again. I, I start off light because I don't, I do hold this a little bit further away than when I'm doing stencils because I don't have to be as precise, but I don't want to just cover it in a ton of color right off the bat because again, it'll just get sticky or runny and then I just come back and do another. Um, what size are you making your dots? Oh, that was um, what I was going to say. I don't say. Mm, Did you get that this? size? <laughs> I don't know. What's, they, these are, in, these like are one, one inch, inch dots. Okay. But um, Lisa, the Barefoot Baker, I think she has tons of templates. Oh, yeah, templates. On and her, actually, Sugarbell uh, does, too. She does, too. Yeah, okay. she has templates so that you can use. So, the Barefoot Baker, if you'll search that, she has tons of templates. and Sweet, Sweet Sugarbell. Sugar uh -huh. um, actually, I think this one. That has a measurement on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's yeah. About, about, about three-quarters three quarters yeah. of an inch. Yeah. Actually, I think this one is Sweet Sugarbell. Uh -huh. I think I got it um, a long time ago. And I, but I think it's a, actually a flower center, oh. like the, the middle of a flower, mm -hmm. if you were doing those. Um, but... You could make eyes out of them too. You know, it's just it's just a, mm -hmm. a template with a bunch of dots, and um, I just pipe them and let them dry. So, anyway, there are lots of if you if you search uh, 
Well, the Barefoot Baker, you can search there and Sweet Sugar Bell site too. Right. Yeah. Okay, so. Very well, nice. Thank, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sherry's turn. My turn. I'm going to grab some stuff. Okay, so. Hi, Dee Dee. Amy, if you went over some of the dry red with the yellow, will the paint get orange or just, I can't see the rest of the comment. It won't, I don't think it'll turn orange. If it's dry, well, if you no. had a wet brush, yes, yes no. it would mix. Hi, Laura. If you had a wet brush with water on it and you were actually doing the PYO, yes, it would turn to orange. But if they're dry, I think it just, it doesn't totally mix, but it changes the color when you airbrush over it with something else, yes. Right. So this is, I'm Sherry from Smart Cookies Bakery. Um, this is the template I use. It's the same template um, that Cindy has, and it, I just downloaded it from Barefoot Baker. Just oh, that way you got yours. Uh -huh. oh. I've gotten mine. And then I just too. use parchment on the top. That I just, I yeah, think they're, they're, all they're all the same. same. They're all yeah, real similar. But you, I, I didn't need to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Um, but I also am very lazy, and I don't want to have to clean my airbrush. And I know a lot of people <laughs> don't have airbrushes, so. I paint my dots a lot. So I have two different colors here and I just want to show you the difference in coverage. Hi Susan! Alaska's in the house! <laughs> she always types that. So, and I'm doing orange on these, but it's going to go on a little bit more watery and it's not, it won't look as clean, but it gets the job done. And you just have to go over it a couple times to get the color you want. Do you have to let it dry in between? Sharing? I would let it dry. Um, like if you wanted the color more intense. Or but the orange that I'm using the, on this first one actually is an ethanol base. It's the Dinky Doodle. It's the ethanol base, so it does. It's not a water base oh, okay. airbrush color, so, so it's going to dry, dry quicker. Faster. Tell us because people ask about this airbrush color all the time, and I've never used it before. So it dries faster. It dries faster because can you it, still get it here in the United States? Yes, but you cannot fly with it. It has to be shipped. So, but this is what it looks like. Well, it's. I guess to us it's backward. To you it's not. Um, and they have several different colors. I know the Cookie Countess carries it and other people carry it. Um, so you can try that. And then this is just a Mirror Mist. And it's orange as well. But just to show you the difference, probably have a little too much. Oh, wow. It, yeah, that's it's going to be brighter, but this is going to take a little longer to dry. Yeah, because that because it's already water. looks dry. This is already dry. Yeah. I mean, I get nothing. Yeah, and it doesn't come off on your finger at all. It won't come off on my finger. The yeah. Dinky Doodle, the air, the yeah. Amerimus would. Mm -hmm. um, but the Dinky Doodle, if I'm in a hurry, that's the one I'm going to use. And I could actually bag it right now, and it would be fine. The rest of these, I would let sit at least overnight. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to package them, you might even want to dust a little corn, uh, the cornstarch over the top and brush that back off. What about powdered sugar? You could do powdered sugar. I don't know why you wouldn't be able well, to. you know, it's already sweet. Might as well add a little more sweetener to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all love sugar. So, and then Nancy had asked me how I store my dots. So, I just went to Sam, or Sam's, to Michael's. You can get it at Michael's, Joann's, whatever craft store you like. And I bought one of the jewelry bins. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it already has the little slots in here. That are perfectly sized for any of my royal icing dots. So I can already I can save these. It's going to be airtight, and it's one of the actually it's for jewelry and it's anti-tarnish, but it's also food safe. So, but I have dots in here for every color because when I'm done decorating, but I still have a little bit of icing. I'm going to go ahead and make some dots. Let those dry overnight. Add color to it, then I'll stick them in here. I even have hearts. Bunny feet and bunnies mm -hmm. from other occasions. Hmm. Nice. So, so and then you just pop these off and you can them pop them off and you can either put them on a palette mm -hmm. or if you oh, have yeah. something else you want to put them on. Or you can actually, if you wanted, you could go ahead and paint directly on your cookie stick. You don't have to do the dots. Right. And some people do. They, I think, don't you think they're, I have not done it that way, but I'm, every time I see them where they're painted on, I think, you just lay your cookies in a row and take a big, a white brush and just go right down it. 
Do them all at once. I have never Next done it color. that way. I Next know. color. I think that would make it go much faster. How long can you keep the dots? Oh, long uh, time. And right. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> because as long I, as they're sealed up. As yeah. long as they're sealed. And think about it. It is the yeah. same. It's royal icing. So it's going to be hard. Um, royal icing. Sugar is a natural preservative. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. I mean, it is. So. so the sugar, yeah. The sugar is a natural preservative. But think of all the cookie decor or cake decorations from when we were younger that are <laughs> the grocery store. Those, that's royal yeah. icing. Those are good forever. Mm. They're going to be here long yeah. after we're gone. Uh, did you want me to paint this? Yeah, or? this is what, yes I do. Um, this is, I made some uh, stencils for cookie sticks, and this is, these are jelly beans. And I made this stencil out of, remember we talked about, uh, not everybody knows, but in my group we have talked about using placemats to cut, to use as stencils. And so they're thicker, they cut perfectly on the Cricut, and I've not tried it on my Cameo yet. But I actually stuck two together to make it extra tall so that when I scrape it on this cookie stick, it's thick and it makes a perfect, yeah. perfect yeah. pattern. Yeah. See, yeah. How, see how it's standing up there because they're, they're taller. So um, I'll share this technique with you. Too. Were you guys but, going to just wipe your PYO? Because yeah. I, I think I can make this black. Sure. So, make that, it, so yeah. if you don't have an airbrush, this is for people who don't have an airbrush or who prefer painting them on. You just paint right on the jelly bean. And I made little rabbits and I made eggs and I got, I've got i got a lot of different shapes for this, for the paint palette. There's some rabbits in there. Oh, I didn't do the good. rabbits very thick. Huh? That's a good yeah. idea. These are the rabbits. Oh, I don't know if you can see Go those. To the camera. Let me get it. Oh, they, oh, close. Yeah, these are the rabbits. Oh, how cute is that? I know. Isn't that, that cute? And I've, I think I did eggs. You could do any shape you wanted. And if you learn to make your own stencils, <laughs> the sky's the limit. Okay. So, and then one last thing that I add with my PYO, and I can get forward this to Nancy to put it up if you all are interested, is I give them instructions. And I tie this to the top, let them know it is food safe. You can't read it backward. <laughs> I'm, 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 I can read backwards. You're talking to a teacher. I can read upside down. I know, you have eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I do go ahead and give yes, them the instructions. Fine. And I can give this to Nancy and she can put it out and you can adjust it. Uh, and customize it to your name and your liking, your well, wording. thank you, Sherry. So. They'll love that. And I can even fancy this up on a on my cutting machine on a plaque and give it to him as a file. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sherry. You are welcome. Okay. So Out of here. Someone's <laughs> gonna have to hold the iPad for Mandy so she can come and. I can hold it. I can wipe. I got it. Okay. I just and I won't touch the volume button. So. You want to put those over there? <laughs> I can't do that and oh, hold this at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, so which one? Because if, if I if I let's move, see, we it need a fallen. paper towel. Or so do you have a something we can put Here. the cookie on? Oh, yes. There it goes. Here, okay. There's a whole bunch oh, of paper fine. towels paper over there. Or, oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Paper towel. You ladies yeah. are hysterical. We are. <laughs> we are. Oh, hey, Nancy. Hawaii is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Oh my Amazing. gosh, that's awesome! I know. I you guys, we I have people in my groups from Abu Dhabi, from uh, tons of people from UK. It's it's so awesome. It I love I love that I have all those people in my group. It. It's fun to meet cookie friends. So it doesn't move around, uh, even if it's yeah. virtual. <laughs> Here, hold, you hold this. Okay, you need the genie. Stuff. Does the paint yes. need to be airbrush paint for yes. the PYOs? For the PYO, it does. I don't use, I use the regular Marigel, I just, I dilute it with a little bit of um, vodka or water. And it reactivates? Yeah. Yeah, it does. You and it's bright to, too. You really do use, need to use cornstarch though. On the, if you use the Marigel, yeah. yeah, I have to, I have to really let mine dry. And then sometimes I just will even lay a paper towel over it and barely touch the paper towel to the tops and then it, it, they dry fine. So... After they're semi dry, I mean, I'll do that with a paper towel if I need to. Which one do you want? Uh, Mandy? Let's do the bunny. Actually, you want the bunny. Here, Mandy. Or do you want the me. Happy Easter? There's a little oh. Happy Easter somewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, the writing, the there. script is yeah. underneath. No, that, no, no, not that one. There's another. No, there's but you know what? This. One. Oh, there's yeah, two. It's, yeah, it's under that. Here you go, Mandy. You well, you can do whatever you want. Do you need to pick this up? Yes. Thank you, Sherry. Sure. Here you go. Oh, oh not that one. It's a different one. Oh, okay, I've got, fine. I've got several. Good? She's going to do the yes. bunny. Okay. Oh. You need to angle so, down. Well. You want there this? We go. Yes, I do. There you go. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is show a technique. We're going to use stenciling. Hi, I'm... Oh, sorry. Does the paint... Oh, okay. Felt like Okay, Mindy. So, my name is Mandy, and I am Kelly's Custom Cookies. And so what I'm going to show is the cookie, after it's been airbrushed, we're going to use the exact same stencil genie. Um, but we're going to use frosting instead of the airbrush. So you just want to offset it. You can. What you can do is you can scoot the stencil over in there, and it it should. And I have yeah, magnets if fine. you need something to hold it down to weight it. It'll this. work like that too, because okay. it'll it'll probably hold it tight enough. Yep. All right. Yep. Perfect. So if you want to hold it down, where's that yellow There's thing? We can't. There's some magnets of. over there, right there. <laughs> if you want that Here. too. Yellow. This yes. yellow thing, we can't think of the name boo -boo of. Stick. It's not a boo-boo stick. Oh, what is it? There, it has to, okay, we, we this call discussion. it, Here. we call it grab, a boo-boo stick. Hey, grab those I magnets. Magnet. Because, yeah. you know what? You you Nancy, put those magnets on there and then yeah. you can just set them and you don't ah. have to worry about it. Cindy has magnets and we don't have to worry about it because, oh, you know, she won't be able to scrape it, Cindy. Oh, We're well, if we put it around the corners, but anyway, okay, yeah. Here, you can scrape. Well, as long as she just holds it and then it'll be fine. It should be fine. Okay. I think so, she can do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We'll see, right? Okay, so... I'll hold it down on one side. And I'm you. going to... You could use different uh, techniques here. I like to use the stencil... Let me fix this call this? That's a genie, the genie scraper. Mm -hmm. Hold yes. I'm going to fix this for you. And then here's the other scraper. Oh. I have all different. They're, they're that blue one and the black is. I actually I like it too. It's really good for little small little things. small things. Yeah, that's um, I like that one for doing a PYO because it's wider. So. Right. Okay, I, so let's go back to the PYO question because yes, when I trying to find the when I do the PYO like the actual image, uh -huh. I do that in Royal Icing. Yes. But my dots are all in Airbrush because right. I didn't think the Royal Icing <laughs> exactly. would reactivate. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, you mean this because, because yeah. once you, it's, so, once you yeah, start painting, it's, it's not going to smear. It, I think it does. I think that, that if you've seen kids that have done it, you've got some black in there, too. I think if they keep getting it wet, if they're when pretty... When I do it, okay. I, I don't... You stay in the lines. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't use a stencil. I pipe it wet on wet. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cute. Look. Yeah, that's okay. very cute. Super cute. So we've got Hoppy Easter... Am I still fuck? You know, do you need? No, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. You can hold it so, up closer so they can watch your swipe. Like you might need to pick it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Up higher. Like that. Right there. Right there. And the camera's okay. over here. Okay. So Here's my finger and the tilt. Oh, I see. Right Sorry. There. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So people. down. Yeah. Down. There, there you go. go. Perfect. Right there. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> hold it and in place. Moving. And as soon as you uh, put the frosting on, it'll stick the thing down because it sticks to the cookie and then I'm trying to figure out which way to go here and then you just scrape and scrape oh, I missed the bar I have like a three scrape rule and after that it's bad but that's what I do boop. and there we oh, go here let me hold it up so they can see that's really cute mm -hmm. I like that stencil uh, it's not in the shop yet, but um, I actually just made it yesterday. Mm -hmm. But it fits a cookie stick, or it fits on this cookie. That's really cute. Okay. All right. So we wanted to do another one. You want to do? You want to do a vinyl yes, stencil? Yes, I do. Okay. We're doing a vinyl stencil. This is one of the most requested tutorials mm -hmm. that we get. Oh my God! What a and mess. And I. <laughs> I actually um, cut this out of gold vinyl so that you could see it. It has the screen on the back. Am I holding it right? And she's going to be yes. scraping on the vinyl side. I had the rest. Hi, Debbie. So, um... Do you want me to clean it? Are you okay? I'm good. Okay. All right. I've got another okay. one over here. So. Yeah. The okay. icing consistency, she's not changing. She's just going to show you with the same icing consistency. I'll let you put All that right. together. So, it goes in... Hmm? Same way as the others. Oh, okay. I don't want it to dry. Alright. Gotcha. It's yeah. over there on the camera. Can you guys see? Now this 
Yeah. It's hard. That's why I only did it in color so they could see you do it. Yeah. Normally we have it's done in clear. Yeah, my clear one's uh, right he, there. Yeah, here's let me show you an example. This is one that's clear and you can see through this onto the cookie so you can place it. But if you can't see through it, did you just see her feeling that? She's just kind of feeling to find the border of the cookie. Normally I do always do it on clear, but for this example, I usually so do I've color. never done one. Okay. On vinyl. So, <laughs> so she's a, she's so, a, she's a first timer. timer. Yeah, so here we go. And we want to show them that consistency when you're done because that's okay. the big question. That looks good. We always get is. Because we only did two swipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two swipes. <laughs> gonna mean it's gonna be good. And the vinyl stencil, the purpose. They're so pretty. The, now, this is a really light color icing, but I'm gonna hold it up close. The purpose of the vinyl stencil, or why people love the vinyl stencil, is because. They, awesome. I want to tilt it down. Oh, yeah, good job, go. Sherry. Um, it's because light, you though. do not have to bridge those, and um, they're, you know, people like them because they're easy to cut too. Those Isn't it better to scrape on a silk screen side so the vinyl has less of a chance to come up? Well, this is a heat transfer vinyl stencil. If you're using the 651 or Cal or the adhesive back stencil, I always scrape on the screen side because those little um, mm. counters can come up and get in your icing and you can't see them because they're clear. So I do not scrape, but some people scrape. It's just personal preference, really. Some people scrape on the vinyl side all the time. But this is heat transfer vinyl, and I did not... Um, make this one where you scrape on the silk side, and this is a brain teaser, guys. <laughs> if you're cutting a stencil out of adhesive back vinyl, you have to mirror the image to scrape on the silk side. You'll want to go back and watch this again to, re to replay this. <laughs> if you're cutting a stencil out of heat transfer vinyl, see, I even have to stop and think about it. Don't mirror it, and you're scraping on the silk side. So, adhesive vinyl, mirror if you want to scrape. I know, it's like on I the just dusted it, you know. I'm wow. sorry. <laughs> HTV, do not mirror it if you want to scrape on the screen side. Oh, wow. that's confusing. Yeah, you got, you got all everything. that? Okay, so that's a beautiful... It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah that's... really pretty cookie. It's and beautiful. I will say, that I, this is not my technique, you guys. I did not come up with this. Kelly Mills came up with this a long time ago in another group that I was in, and all I do is just, I show the technique, um, or how to design these, and how, well, it's not showing, how to cut them, <laughs> oh, perfect, how to, I, I just show the technique, I did not come up with this, I don't, no. what's it like to clean, because I've not worked with, uh, these before. are just, I just rinse these yeah. under warm Same water, that, it's mm -hmm. just heat transfer vinyl, okay. it's totally, you can totally get it wet, it doesn't hurt a thing, even it's, the adhesive vinyl But I don't wet. think you can get as many swiped cookies out of this, the silk screen oh, oh. as they you can. They want to see Kelly's face. Mandy. I mean, Mandy Mandy's Kelly. face. <laughs> you the wrong name. I know. You guys, I've known these ladies for a long time. Oh, yeah. I truly know their names. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but no, I mean, like if you swipe two or three, then you'd have to go rinse that, right? Whereas you know with what? the regular stencil, you don't have to. Some I mean, at least people, my experience is yes, like that. Yes, I clean mine about, I, I make my own, so I can make 10 if I want to. Right. But a lot of people will scrape, they scrape it totally clean every time, so they don't have to wash as often. Oh. Um, so, yeah, if she left that much on there, yeah, she'd have to wash it Because it wouldn't come through the silk screen, but right? But these last a long, long, mm -hmm. long time. Thank you, April. Uh, what is the silk screen? Okay, this, the silk screen isn't silk. The screen <laughs> is um, screen, like screen printing, but it's not. It's uh, made out of polyester. Or, no, I think polyester Did is the base. Um yeah, we don't have to show this. Do you want okay. to um, do so you can learn more about screening uh, and vinyl stencils in my Facebook group. And I have two Facebook groups. I have the Colorful Cookie Stencil Studio Facebook group. And it's we answer questions and offer help when people are working on their designs and in their software. And then I also have the Colorful Cookie Club membership now. It's called the Colorful Cookie Club. And it's a paid membership each month, which is getting ready to open again next week. Or actually the first, which is coming up on Sunday. Enrollment will be open again the first through the seventh. And it will be $14.99 a month. And you get uh, way more than what you're paying for. 
Um, and if I have any group members in here, I would love it if they would chime in because we're having a really good time. They get a free stencil download. I give them freebies all the time. Um, we have monthly tutorials that are centered around a theme. For April, it's graduation. They learn different techniques and skills every month. We have a Facebook Live every week. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> we have a Facebook Live every week, Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I love teaching people. It's what I love to do. I'm, I'm very passionate about stencils. If you can be passionate about stencils, I am. And I am passionate about people and cookie ears. I love them, so... Um, anyway, and we love you, Nancy. Thank you. There's yes. This is from our tutorial in April. We made this cute little bunny from Val at My Scrap Chick. She gave us this, and if you haven't been to her site, My Scrap Chick, Chick she started. A, <laughs> Say that two times <laughs> fast. Yeah. She started a page just for us, and she designs things, and I go through it with her and tell her if. If it's good for stenciling. Dawn says, it's a great group, and I'm one who still has not used her machine. <laughs> hey, Dawn, get that thing out and turn it on. That's what I always tell people. They don't hear me say it. They just see it typed. But that's how I say it. If, I, if you ever see me type that, here's how I say it. Get that thing out and turn it on. <laughs> but this was our tutorial image for our PYO in April. The black's out here. And you can do it on that. It no, is really stencil? cute, but you can also buy a lot more images. Yeah. This is free on Val's site. That's it's like myscrapchick.com, and she has a category for us called Cookie Stencil Starters. And all the images there, her and I collaborate on, and we make them where they are stencil friendly for you to add bridges if you need to, or if you don't, then you you know, and you cut on vinyl, then then that works. We so don't, we don't know where that one is. It is right here. We found it. Oh, oh it was right there. Yeah. Where did the black go? Uh, it's right behind Sherry you. Sherry took it. Oh, to, and to by the right. way, this to picture, right. when you download something from my online shop, this is the printable that comes in the file. And that's because when I store these, can you have me that bucket? I like to store this right behind the stencil oh. so that I can find it easily. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'm going to brag on the Dollar Tree again. Um, you know, that's my favorite store. But I got this little container at the Dollar Tree. And I only put a few stencils in here to show you an example. But it fits the stencils perfectly. And I made a divider. And I've shared this, um, or I'm going to be sharing this in my group, these dividers for... Uh, in the Colorful Cookie Club group. Um, so they can actually download and cut these to start organizing their stencils. Mm -hmm. And any container works like this that will fit. So, And you also have the picture that goes behind the stencil. Thank you. Oh, and my scraper. This is my mat scraper for my Cricut and my Cameo. Dollar Tree, best scraper ever. And I'll say that every time I'm on a live. <laughs> um, Val's site is myscrapchick.com. And the category is cookie stencil starters. And that bunny that I showed you with the basket is free this month. You have to bridge it, though, if you're going to make a traditional stencil. If you're going to do vinyl, you don't. So it's really, really cute. And it's also on my shop already bridged for you to download and cut. Okay, so we're going to demo. Which cookie I would use one of those big plaque ones. Yeah, yeah, that would work good. I and say so you do need a cookie, don't you? <laughs> Everybody okay. needs a cookie. Okay. So now I <laughs> so do I have this down again? Yeah. Right Come there. over. There. There. Okay, so we're going to show how we offset and then put the colors in or no? Is it too Just bright? Put yeah, it in it's the too middle. bright. Raise it Maybe up. come closer. Oh, yeah, in the middle. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, and then um, we'll put some paint dots. Around. When I do a black like edge. this, I put you paint put dots on. Edge. Around? Yeah. Okay. Better? Usually on each corner, so you oh. could scoot him a little left, so we have enough room. Yeah, we'll have enough room that way, I think. Okay. I don't know. All right. So, you want to see the consistency here? Yeah. Can you see that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Tell. It's black. It's hard to tell. This is, I always say, like this toothpaste. is like, yes, it's toothpaste consistency, and I always say crust. <laughs> <laughs> crust, <laughs> crust, you know, some toothpaste are thicker right. than others, yeah. and crust is, is just that Consistency. Okay. Here we go. Dink. You want the other scraper? Yeah, it would be helpful. Where's the I think genie? It's in there. It's in here. Oh, oh here, let's know. use this one. Here we go. 
Hey, we're not partial, you guys. We have Sweet Sugar Bell, we have the Cookie Countess, and then we have the Stencil Genie. We love them all. <laughs> oh, he's perfect. Yay. Good swiper. Thank mm -hmm. you. Look. Cool. He is, he's so cute. Good job. And then you would just add the dots, which you know, yes, yeah, I would uh, grab some. And the or you guys, or you could attach a palette. Yeah, like you that. could make this a set with the palette right here, or you could attach the dots right on here. I have some white piping. And you know, there. if if you yep. See, I usually, if I have a cookie like this, I try to put one, you in know, each corner. on I'm, each corner, yeah. if I can. Like that? Here, yeah, that one's a little here. smaller, the smaller one's okay. Yeah, they're, they're a variety of sizes. Is that snipped? Yes, you just probably need to wipe the end of it, though. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Sand <laughs> Here, I'll dot like these. And you, how many cookies does it take to make a PYO? <laughs> I'll let you put it on there. I just put a tiny Oh, I did. I put I more than that. You do? Yeah, because yeah, so I'm going to bag it. No, oh, I never put more than that. But that's why you don't make cookies anymore. never fell off, but I don't do it anymore. I'm too busy making stencils. For all my friends. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> So that's a PYO. Paint your own cookies. Some people call it a PYOC. Okay. Next. Sandra. I'll make this, um, that little girl. What's her name? That other girl. Sandra. Do you want me to hold? Please. <laughs> see Sandra's face before we start. <laughs> Sandra, not Sandra. Not Sandra, not Sandy. Sandra. Sandra. Okay, so I requested, I didn't realize she made Okay, I, but I don't, I don't make them no, all the time. No, she doesn't yeah. make them so all the time. Don't email her. <laughs> that was just don't, as a one-time deal. Yes, don't, don't ask her to make these for you because she won't. She made yeah. one for me because I'm her friend. But, yes. Um, she made the. She teaches a cookie class or cookie classes now. Yeah. And so she made these for the participants in her cookie class. Lost the volume again. That is so odd. Uh, I don't know. Know. The volume's up. I don't know why. Okay. Well, we'll keep talking and hopefully it will come back on. So anyway, she makes these for the people who take her cookie classes, and I asked her to show you how, because I love these, and I've really never known how people make them. Yes, uh, Monica, we include a paintbrush with each PYO, and I've bought the long ones before, and I snip them off. These, these are the long ones, um, and I snip them off, but you can buy the shorter ones on Amazon that are lipstick brushes, and they're very soft, yes. and they work really well. I put a link to that on, my, on the shop if you go to the shop site, uh, to the materials page, there's a link for the lipstick brushes. But these are, you know, you can get these locally and just snip them off too. So, okay. Um, okay. There you go. Sandra, so, you're up. Okay, so I was looking for um, these online, and I know that you can get them at many different shops, but I didn't want to spend 89 cents per... Um, <laughs> I didn't want no. to spend 89 cents per um, thing, and I know that it's called a boo, -boo I know we all call it a boo-boo stick, but it's not a boo-boo stick. Try Googling it, and it does not come up. Um, <laughs> so I was trying to find these to purchase for my class. Like, I wanted 100 for 89 cents, <laughs> but I couldn't find them. And then I thought, well, I use turkey lacers every time I decorate. It's it's not, I don't know, I don't. I think it's a well-known thing that yeah. that's what yes. these I, I are. I used, when I first started, I used them, and I can't remember. I think Julia Usher is the one who... Um, well, we did them at uses, Jenny at her retreats. Yeah. Jenny does those, and you can pick your beads yeah. and make. I yeah. have oh, a no, couple. I just need the plain turkey lacer. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I just know. bought a bunch on clearance at Walmart after things. Exactly. I like the like super pointy ones. I mean, yes, the, I, I like the super pointy ones, too. Yeah. These were, I think... 54 cents at Walmart, and I had it like a package oh, yeah, of eight good. or yeah. 16 or yeah. something like that. So um, all I did was I wanted like a little 
dangly thing on it because it's cute. A charm. A charm. charm. But they don't have baking charms yeah. at Joann's. No. So I just got, this is a, it has a name, but it's like a connector when you make bracelets. Yeah. And I just oh. um, attached it. And did you, did, did you crimp the edge? Is that okay. what you... Oh, that's what the crimper thing is for. That's what I use this for. And I'm not going to tell you... <laughs> we were laughing about... What Sherry... <laughs> you got it? What? What? <laughs> um, I don't know what they're talking about, but they said something like a roach clip. And I... <laughs> I, I don't know what that's, you're talking about. I'm going to Google now, it. Uh, that is what a surgeon uses. Right. It's like a, but anyway, they're not hard to bend, so that's how I bent yeah. the, the <laughs> eye was with these. I didn't even need pliers. Oh, yeah. um, and then I seriously went to uh, the clearance section. He missed that. Hey, Miss Stack. But it says roach clip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sherry, Google okay. it. Oh, Karen said, Karen is from California. They have baking charms at Walmart. I wasn't at Walmart. I was at Joann's. But, but, and this is like all I'm making. Okay. And I've seen some of oh, them. not making cookie. They have like cupcakes. They have oh, different, yeah. you know, I haven't yeah, seen I a had, cookie. I have a rolling pin and oh. a mixer. Do you really? And yeah. Oh, yeah, we did those at Jeannie, at Jeannie's oh. in oh, okay. um, Texas. What's a needle driver? What? Sabrina, the stick? Are you talking about the needle or this or, uh, yellow stick that <laughs> she had? Uh, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> he must that or a Kelly. It's not a roach clip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Google said it was. Well, okay. And Google knows everything. Right. Right. Andrea, you're killing her. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's called. What it's, is it called? It, I Googled a, Boo Stick and it came up it like did that come up on Amazon. Amazon. That's because uh -huh. cookiers have named but it. But I, oh. I wanted to purchase that yes. yeah. from the supplier, not oh, from vendors. I see what you mean. So oh. I don't know what oh. to call that. Sabrina, the needle is a turkey it's laser. It's a turkey laser. Yeah. Um, you, I don't know. I know the Bed Bath & Beyond has them year-round, but like Walmart, Target, yeah. stuff like They only oh. carry them at um, Thanksgiving. And if you go after the holiday, they'll have them on clearance. I Seriously, I paid like a quarter, and then I went back the next week, and they were a dime. And there's a package of, I think, ten. I don't know. Yeah, it's, there's a lot yeah. in there. Um, so, yeah, then I went to the clearance section at Joann's and got the most gaudy beads I could find. <laughs> right? right. <laughs> and then you just, you know, put it together however you want. And... Alright, here on this one. There you go. Okay, now I found. Thank you. No, I love They're it. They're bead. I know. So I found this bead. This is like at Michael's. It looks like a little. Um, where's the camera? It looks like a little uh, spirally, wiry thing. It is the perfect stopper. Oh, on for the end for the end uh, for the oh. bead not to go. It's it's snug. So you don't have to use glue or anything. Nope. It's, it's just, snug oh. and you push it tight. Oh, and it doesn't go. Super anywhere. clever. And so then what is it? It's not called a stopper. What? No, it is in the bead section. It looks like this. It's wiry. It's it looks like spirally. A, it looks like a spring all wound up. Yes. And it's and is that what it's for? Is for the ends of no, something? No, it is or a bead. A, it's just it's a bead. Just oh. a, it probably the opening fits tight on this lacer. Yes, it just fits perfectly on that lacer, and it doesn't. It doesn't and then, help. do you see what she has on the end? So that oh, I don't know if I can hold still. So nobody stabs. Sorry. Inside. Yes. You guys no. see what that is the on protector. the end? The protector. <laughs> tell them what that is on That's the end. That's an earring back. It's mm. a back of an oh. earring. <laughs> I love when people are so clever. Rachel's learning yeah. a lot from us ladies. Aww. And that's Rachel's like, that another, Rachel Rachel's know? another yeah. Casey hi, cookier. Yes. Hi, hi Rachel. Rachel. Oh, hi Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Laura's here too. Hey Laura. Hey Laura. She's been here from the beginning. I saw her name. Okay, so that's how. See, we cookiers are just DIYers naturally. Uh -huh, we DIY yeah. and we're crafty people. And most cookiers love to color. Do yeah. you guys yes. love to color? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love to I love color, color and I still yeah. color. But yeah. anyway, that's what I found out. Over time. Okay, so did, were we going to show anything else? Um, I mean, we can stencil something over the carrots, but I mean, Mandy already did that, so, so we don't. Yeah, know. we already did that. that. So. Oh, yeah. I was oh, gonna, well, Cindy's going to show some of her transfers, and the, but before she does that, I was going to tell you guys. I want to say one more time that um, the Colorful Cookie Club is going to be open for enrollment from April first through seventh. And there is a link on my page here where you're watching the live. 
and you can click on that link and sign up for to get an email from me. It'll probably come out. There will be one tomorrow and one on Saturday if you want to sign up. and Or you can email me at the Colorful Cookie Co. At, no, I'm sorry. The Colorful Cookie at gmail.com. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Trudy said, haha, my husband came by and said, what are you watching? And I said, a live stream for cookiers. And he goes, have they all been drinking? <laughs> 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 you all have been too no. much fun. No, we haven't no. been drinking. I don't know. What do you want to do that? We just naturally about, act like this. You know, what about this one? I like this Happy Easter. Oh, yeah, Would that work? Right. Yeah, that's a PYO. Yeah. Or you but could it use matter. that. You know, if you could use that bunny. Not you as could a PYO. use the bunny as an outline too. PYOs make good outlines for piping. This is the Happy Easter that's in the shop. And I and it think. It is really pretty. Do you think that orange would show up, or do you think the green would be better? Um, the green's kind of light. Uh, kind of what? The green's kind of light, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but do I think the it's... Orange. I don't know. Do, do whatever it. you want. You want me to do the orange? Okay. I can do the orange. Is it the right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll hold it up close to the camera. Okay. Um. Thank you, Laura. Jennifer, you can always go back and watch the replay. It'll be here. Sorry. So this is the stencil that I did the carrots on and, and did the, the two-part. So... Uh-oh, you know what? 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 All of our scrapers are dirty. That's a, no, I got a ton more. Okay, good. Okay, so we've got the... We're going to have to hold yes. it up close. Yes, we've got the Happy Easter on here. I would probably use a darker color just so that you could see it better or spritz some pixie dust or glitter on there because I love that. You're too um, high. Oh, I'm go sorry. Low. low. Okay, yeah. there we, we just, go. We only had a certain number of colors, so... But that yeah. I love that stencil. I do, too. It's very pretty. I and kind of outdid myself on that one. <laughs> And, and I, I made a bunch of I made a bunch it's of royal so icing transfers this weekend. I'm sorry, my hand has airbrushing color all over it, but um, I just made a bunch of royal icing transfers with the little eggs, and I made. I am in love. I am in love with the carrot. Did you get that template from the? No, I just downloaded some free clip art, oh. and then I put acetate over it on uh, the cutting board. And okay, that was another. So question. then you could do something cute. With Someone that, may so. ask the acetate uh -huh. that you're you want to. Acetate like um it's I buy it at Michael's. I started she, to say yeah. uh, what in what department? Um it's it's like drafting. Yeah, but it's really oh, it's like the same thing you guys make the bind the Duralar? stencils are. Is it Duralar yes, and a yes. tablet? Yes, and it's just like what you yes. make stencils it's out exactly, of. Exactly, guys. The acetate Perfect. she's talking about is um the Duralar that we use to cut stencils out of, or some of us do. And it's but the it's the point. Zero zero five thickness and it's yeah. in tablet form. Not all Michaels carry it, just some. And Karen, and, and then Karen Rimley says she oops. uses page protectors. Have you ever tried that? Yeah, I've used those before. I just yeah. like the acetate. Um, I think it's kind of bright, Mandy. I don't know if we can hold it down. We need or... to make a weekly get yeah. together. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> anyway, yes, we do. So oh, you can embellish great. with the royal icing transfers. You could put border. Oh, that's you could... really cute. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be cute. You know. So, yeah, anyway. I always love dimension on cookies. Yes, Oops. You're, you're, I don't know. You're it's a pro dimension. Well, thank you. Okay. But anyway, so, this has been super fun. Yes, it has <laughs> been fun, and I'm glad you guys tuned in. And um, thank you for watching. And I hope if listen, you can also join the Colorful Cookie Stencil Studio Facebook group. That's just a group where we help people answer questions. It's a really fun group, too. I share links to free images and things that I find that are good for stencils. And if you're interested in joining the club, that's a paid membership. It'll be $14.99 a month. It comes open for the next week, April 1st through 7th. And it's an awesome group, too. So I'd love for you guys to join. And thank you to my cookie friend. Thanks for joining us. Mary, you there? I can't do it. I can't do it. Hi, guys. It's all right. Bye. You can get finished. There's finish. Yep, at the bottom. Corner. As I say.